In the previous video, we had a look at the concept of the voice VLAN and at the network topology of the lab setup. So now let's move on to the command line. We are now connected to our layer 3 switch and let's start with the show CDP neighbors. And we can see that on port 1 we have indeed um, a PC with the uh, IP communicator software. So uh, this also means that installing the IP communicator um, activates CDP on your PC and network card as well. And on ports 5, 6, 7, and 8, we do have IP phones connected. Um, I did a couple of tests beforehand. So let's revert uh, those interfaces back to the default configuration. This is done with the default interface range command. One up to eight. Once we do this, we will notice that the line protocol on our interface VLAN 8 um, goes down. So let's do a show VLAN brief. And we notice that uh, there is no port um, assigned to this uh, VLAN any longer. And we al also do not have any trunk ports. That's why the line protocol came down. On the other hand, the, uh, in the data VLAN 178, there is still this uplink port, the gigabit interface, which is explicitly configured as an access port, no trunk. And the default interface command um, moved those eight ports back into VLAN number one. If we do a show um, IP, interface brief. We can also see that the interface VLAN 178 um, is up up while the voice VLAN the VLAN 78 is currently protocol down as there is no port assigned to this VLAN. Uh, we can also do um, show run begin begin interface and this also confirms now that there is no configuration um, under those eight ports except of course the default so um, spanning tree is uh, running no port fast um, they are all assigned to VLAN 1. They are on this platform uh, set to switch port mode dynamic auto and so on. So let's do our voice configuration. Interface range of Ethernet 01 up to 8. We start with the switch port mode access command. Switch port access VLAN 178 and a switch port voice VLAN 78. So three commands. Um, however, if we check the config, let's do a do show run interface of Ethernet. Let's pick the interface 7, for example we notice that there is an additional command added, the spanning tree port fast. So indeed, as soon as we enter the switch port voice VLAN 78 command, spanning tree um, with the port fast feature was automatically enabled for us as well. And just as a best practice, spanning tree um, BP DU Guard enabled so um, in order to prevent uh, users from plugging in any uh, switches into those 
reports. So if we now um, do a uh, do show run begin interface, then we can see that now all our ports um, are configured as expected. Access, uh, switch port mode access, the access VLAN, the voice VLAN, the additional uh, spanning tree port fast command, and then finally we entered the spanning tree BPDU guard enabled command. So um, you may have noticed that uh, the um, interface brief. You may have noticed that once we entered the switch port uh, voice VLAN 78 command, uh, the protocol on this interface VLAN 78 came up as we now have ports assigned to this VLAN. And if we do a do, uh, show VLAN brief, we can now see that those ports uh, one through eight are now appearing two times. They are assigned to the voice VLAN and they are also assigned to the data VLAN. So we do have indeed uh, a multi VLAN access ports. So let's check quickly whether our phones are up and running. Um, This is a call between the uh, 7912s, which is working fine. And if I try to call from the 7965s to the other one, they're ringing as well. So our phones are up and running. Um, and let's now have a look at the IP addresses uh, they use. So. I move on to the uh, CUCM. Let's log in. Uh, this is a virtual machine running on a demo license, so you will get this warning whenever you log in. But that's no problem at all. And let's check how our phones are doing. And um, we can see that all uh, for physical phones as well as the IP communicator successfully registered with a call manager. And you can also see that the physical phones, the IP address 7878, 78, so um, all the physical phones picked an IP address uh, from our uh, voice VLAN as expected, while the Cisco IP communicator uh, picked an IP address of our data VLAN. And if you uh, take a look then at the PC, of course, this is the IP address um, of the PC as well. So everything is running fine and smooth. We successfully um, configured our switch. So um, now let's have a look at a few of the things that can go wrong or um, some typical um, mistakes and the effects of those. So we will do the following modifications to uh, our config. On port number five, uh, we remove the voice VLAN. On port number six, we disable CDP and Port number seven will be reconfigured as a trunk port instead of an access port. And then we will check the result afterwards. So back to the command line. So on, on port number five, no switch port voice VLAN. If we now check the config to show run interface 
Number five, that's the one we configured. Uh, we see that the uh, this command switch port voice VLAN 78 is now uh, missing. We removed that one, but removing this command does not disable port fast. So while entering the switch port voice VLAN command um, on a switch activates, automatically activates uh, the port fast feature, uh, disabling the voice VLAN will not remove the port for free feature from this port. Uh, then we move on to our the interface number six. There we do a no CDP enable. So let's take a look at the port number six now. So we still have the access VLAN, the voice VLAN configured, but um, CDP is disabled now. And um, we also move on to port number interface of Ethernet 07. And here we do a switch port mode trunk. Oh, on this port, we also have to do first, we do have have a switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q first and now we can set this port to trunk mode. Um, you notice um, switching to a trunk port um, on port number seven uh, automatically uh, enforces the reset of the interface but on the other two interfaces, uh, port five and six, we will have to do this uh, on our uh, on our own um, in a second. So let's take a look to show run interface of Ethernet zero seven. What we have now, we have an access and a voice VLAN configured on this port, um, but those commands are now um, they're still here, but it's a trunk, so by default, um, if we just then do a do show interface of Ethernet 07 switch port, we can see that it's now indeed a trunk. We have an access mode VLAN and a voice VLAN configured, but they don't do anything because right now um, trunking VLANs enabled all, so all VLANs are allowed on this trunk. Here we see some potential problem of this uh, configuration because the native mode VLAN is still one. It has nothing to do with the access mode uh, command. so. If we have uh, any PC connected to this uh, IP phone, then now this uh, computer uh, has no longer access to our data VLAN because the VLAN 178 is now um, attacked VLAN. If we want our PC to be able to communicate, we need to do a switch port trunk native VLAN 178 command. And if we now check the switch port again, we now see that um, the native VLAN is now moved to our data VLAN in order to enable our PC to communicate with the rest of our network. So um, let's move on to the inter interface range for Ethernet 0, 5 through 6, as those ports need to be shut down and a no shut in order to power cycle them. 